Ladies and gentlemen, today Harry Potter Wizards Unite is finally out. I've got a wand and we're gonna be casting some spells. Yeah, game's live! So uh, right now we're gonna go over like a first little look. I'm just gonna sit down, kind of walk through the game a little bit. We're gonna see what's happening, what's happening inside. We're gonna cast some spells and, and zap some things. And this, the Mystic 7 Plays channel, which I'm gonna sort of rebrand pretty soon here, so just kind of keep it out for that. This is where the Harry Potter Wizards Unite content will exist. And I will try to upload as many videos as I can because I really like this game. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think day one of Harry Potter Wizards Unite? Let's get into it. Okay, here it is, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. We are in, and as you can see, I am Mystic 7, and I'm level 7, which is epic. And we'll just go through a couple things right now. For one, when you see these little items on the ground, you're gonna pick these up because that's water, plus five water. And then as you can see, there's these little things kind of glowing around. We'll get to that in a second. If you go into your suitcase, your suitcase goes everywhere with you and contains tools vital to your success as a member of the Statue of Secrecy Task Force, your ministry ID, vault, profession, potions, bents, registry, and port keys. And we're gonna go over all of that right now. And then we're gonna actually cast some spell. Well, here, you know what? I'll, let me just give you guys a taste. Uh, which one's a fun one? This one's a fun one. Okay. Alert! A wizard confoundable is guarding a remembered. Threat level low, which means it's gonna be pretty easy. And this is how you cast spells. You use your finger, you click, and then you drag and you trace. Uh, and the quicker you do it and the more accurate you do it, the better uh, the spell cast is. I really like the spell casting and there is AR with this and the AR is really, really fun. It's super well done. We're not gonna do that now just because I'm sitting in my office, uh, but but we will do videos in the future using the AR, so keep an eye out on the channel. In return, you overpower the confoundable. Um, and that's kind of what you want to do. You want to, you know, just keep <laughs> the, the count, you want to collect the confoundables, overpower them, and that was a mysterious artifact. So as you can see, that icon right there, that red icon is what you see on the map. Uh, and then I'll show kind of like where that goes in, ties into later and then you get your XP count and then this whole screen keeps going it's super the, the graphics in this game the animations they did I think fantastic with I like it a lot okay so hopping back into your suitcase potions on the left let's go through potions pretty quickly here so as you can see you've got your cauldron and if you got this cauldron or you have this cauldron on the right here too but you need to be level nine I'm only level seven so bottom left brew now you click that and it opens up your brewing actually first we're gonna go back out if you go on the so if you see bottom left is cauldrons bottom right recipes it shows you the recipes and let's look at Existumulo Potion improves your spell cast in traces and wizarding challenges. Duration three spell casts, and it shows how long it takes, which is two hours. It shows what ingredients you need. I'm obviously missing this one right here, the snowdrop. Uh, and, and actually it shows what that is. A key ingredient in ex Extimulo Potions, known for its resi resilience. And you can click those little items and know how much you have and uh, have, you only need one of each for this one and I, I'm missing the, the snowdrop, oh, oops. And then Master Notes, we don't have Master Notes, uh, but reduce brewing time by 15% so you can do that too. Okay, so going back over to the cauldron, uh, going over to brew now, I'm just gonna brew, we're gonna brew two potions just to kind of show you guys what it's like. Uh, you can use coins to buy missing things that you don't have, which is pretty convenient. So we're gonna click that, get missing, yes, we're gonna drop the coins on it and it will start brewing that potion which will be done in two hours. You can brew four at a time right now. And then I th I'm assuming once you unlock the other cauldron, you can brew more and bigger things. And then all these other potions, wizarding level eight, nine, 10, 13, 15, the wit sharpening potion. This thing is cool. And then we're gonna brew up a healing potion, get uh, what you need, kind of just six coins, so just for an example, I usually don't spend coins on this kind of stuff, you, you collect as you go, and these ingredients too, you find on the ground, you find in other players, places and areas within the game, so you don't have to buy them, but you can if you want. So now, those are brewing, and you can finish it if you'd like. We will let those brew though, that's potions, and then potions help you uh, in, in, again, wizardry challenges and battles. Let's go to the vault. What's in the vault? And it just kind of shows you what you have. So we've got potions, and then 39 out of 50, and we carry, or 39 space out of 50. Permanently increase your potion vault space by 10. So there's that, and then you can go over to your ingredients. These are all the ingredients that I have, and if you guys want to check out the info on them, see what they do, uh, what they're known for, you definitely can. You can also dump ones too, if I want to dump a, a bean, manage, and then I can I can delete them. And then going over to utility, you've got your scrolls, your silver keys, and your dark detectors. And we'll go over what these do too, but kind of just here. Scrolls are used in professional lessons, earn more scrolls from treasure trunks in the registry, and you use that to kind of power up your abilities. It's very like uh, League of Legends-y, and you know, that'll make more sense in a second. Also, I'm not good at League of Legends, so maybe that was a bad reference. And then your silver key, and these are used to unlock your portmanteaus, and that is essentially the 
uh, like in Pokemon Go, you've got eggs. In this game, you've got the ports. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a port because I don't know how to pronounce the entire thing. But uh, yeah, so use the port key uh, to open up the ports. And that's essentially the port keys are your incubators, the ports are your eggs. And then Dark Detector. These are pretty cool in the way that they work, but these are lures, essentially. Uh, dark Detectors can be placed in an amplifier to reveal higher threat traces around an inn for 30 minutes. And inns are Pokestops, and we do have one right here, and I'll show you in a second. But Rune Stones, you get these Rune Stones uh, from leveling up your, uh, well here. Use this Rune Stone at a fortress to initiate a wizarding challenge level one wonders of the wizarding world runestone uh, and you use these again for uh, at fortresses for wizarding challenges and then the higher level the rune is uh, runestone is the higher level the battle will be and the challenge will be so as you can see right here level three mysterious artifacts runestone the wizarding challenge would then be level three for that at, from what I understand I could definitely be wrong and your seeds and water uh, here, look. Sneezewort seed. A seed of the sneezewort plant, which can be grown in a greenhouse and harvested for use in brewing strong. Invigoration drought. And uh, I'll just show you, these are the greenhouses too that are kind of just like around. Like, that's a greenhouse right there. So those, those, those little things, those are the greenhouses. Also, we have this. Nice. See? Love it. Just kind of sit on the ground there. All right, then your registry. This is the fun stuff. This is, okay, if you see the icons on the top, look at the icons on the top, like in this top row, and then look at the things that sp kind of spawn around you. These correlate to these in your registry. The registry is the Ministry of Magic's record of foundables that you have returned. Find traces on your map, return the foundables, and unlock treasure trunks to earn rewards for assisting the Statue of Secrecy Task Force. So, basically, preface, sort of preface of the game. Let's see, we've got, okay, see the bottom right one? That is the Hogwarts University uh, one. What do you even call that? So if we come over to this icon, this is the Hogwarts School. As you can see, Hogwarts School traces appear more often at landmarks with this flag. Oh, I'll show that to you in a second. That's really cool, actually. But Hogwarts School, we are four out of 30, 26 XP until the next treasure trunk. And then as you retrieve foundables, you can essentially collect them and stack them up uh, in here. As you can see, I've got uh, these Hogwarts uh, School students. I'm still missing the this unknown foundable. And once you get things, here, I'll do this right now. We'll grab this. Uh, once you collect things, you get XP for collecting them. And if you get something new, or someone new, and then you add that into your registry, uh, you get even more XP for that. And then as it goes up, you get to a trunk at the end, uh, you level up that, that whatever this is called. <laughs> I should know that. Oh, that was a nice little cast right there. Nice, great, look at me. Bombarda! I'll show in a second, let me just, nice. One hitter quitter, let's go. Return, you overpowered the confoundable. Gryffindor student has been returned to Gryffindor common room. Great. And then as you can see, fragments one, Gryffindor student, and then we've got one plus one towards that, and then 110 XP towards our XP count. So then if we go back in here to the registry, as you can see, we are now, if we go over to the Hogwarts school, five out of 30. So you kind of just build that up, and then you build up to the chest. And then as you unlock, you get higher in your rank. We have rank four here for Hogwarts school, and you kind of just keep leveling up and unlocking. Obviously, this is a very, very quick run through. There's a lot more depth in this game, but okay, so we've got exploration. You can go over to challenges right here. Challenges can be played in fortresses. So when you go to fortresses, that's kind of when you do all this stuff. Um, um, and then, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot, there's a lot to do here, a lot to explain here. But as you complete the challenges, then you rank up your challenges, chest, and you can get that um, in, in this, there's this cool stuff too. This is, I don't know what this is, but it's sick. Over to the mysteries, uh, this one is also pretty fun. Chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and then you kind of just like go through like the foundable spell. You know, grim folly, motives. It's like a storyline. It's like a almost like a campaign mode, essentially, with this, which is like super duper fun, and you follow it throughout the game. So you kind of collect as you go, and you collect complete and follow along. <laughs> this game is really cool. And then events bottom right, the brilliant forbidden forest. And then as you can see, you uh, you rank that up. So those are like special events going on. So I'm assuming that's that's happening now. No. Well, back to your exploration. Uh, we got Hagrid's hut. We've got Borgen and Burks. We've got, you know, kind of all these things and you can rank all of these up. So, you know, rank two, rank three, rank two, rank five. Uh, and these kind of all help in your progression throughout the game. And then again, to rank those up, you go and find these things. This one will be a Wonders of the, oh, 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 look at that. Honey Water, Wonders of the Wizarding World. Let's see what goes on here. Oh no, are these the Pixies? Pixie Confoundables are guarding a crystal wall. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to take these guys out. All right, Pixies. <laughs> It's decent. Also, I am on movie two of uh, of Harry Potter. I'm, I'm watching through the entire Harry Potter series so I can like understand the game and the world a little bit better. Nice! We did that really quickly. Haha, <laughs> goodbye Pixies. Again, the animations and graphics are like fantastic. <laughs> so there we go, Crystal Ball has been returned and uh, nice, Crystal Ball, great. One out of one, Wonders of the Wizarding World, rank that up a little bit. And again, the graphics just kind of going through here. We got 50 XP going towards level eight. Kind of a slow progression there, but uh, not more, much more than 50 XP. Sorry about that, 330 and a Crystal Ball. So this is something new. I never, I didn't have the Crystal Ball. This is the first time that I found the Crystal Ball. So as you can see, it's plus three and then we can place image and then you go into your exploration and right here, room of requirement 
four, we can toss that crystal ball down there and that gives us even more points uh, towards our wonders of the wizarding world, towards that new chest, which is great. So yeah, that's that was a cool little collectible that we found, nice. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at this. This is actually really cool. A whirlwind confoundable is trapped a daily profit stand. Uh, and it's just like, I don't know, it just looks cool. All right, here we go, ready? All right, that was horrible, okay. Also something to note too, when you're casting, you've got, uh, it's essentially it's energy, and it's in the bottom left, it's got the lightning bolt, and I have 75, and look at that, one hitter. That was, look how cool that was. <laughs> I'm down, yes, success. Overpower the confoundable, great. And I've already gotten this one too, so we just got uh, one towards the points there, and then 80 XP. And that's kind of very briefly uh, your registry and how that works. Now, profession, look at this. This is where you go and start ranking yourself up. I, I chose, at the beginning, an Aurora. I want to be like a, a beast spellcaster. Now, obviously, you can be a magizoologist, but I did not choose that, and I don't think I'm going to switch to it just yet. But you can, I think you can switch back and forth uh, and level up different ones, and then professor as well, which I did not choose either. I'm an Aurora. Right there, Aurora's deal extra damage against dark forces and take extra damage from beasts. And here are my player stats right now. Stamina 100, power 30. So, like, you know, still pretty low, uh, but we, Aurora combat veterans who defeat foes by combining their innate, innate leadership with litany, litany of the living spells. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm a beast, essentially. So that's your expertise, and if you go over to lessons, we can hop into Aurora, uh, and as you can see, Aurora Fundamentals, more lessons coming soon, and then we can go into these ones as well, which I have not even started, but if we go into Aurora Fundamentals, you can see that this is your progression, and then you kind of just keep going down it. So it is very like, you know, very like League of Legends if you're if you're familiar with that system. So, we and this is where the scrolls come in. We've got, on the top left, we've got only six scrolls, so there's probably not much we can do here. Let's see. Oh, we can do Aurora's Handbook. We can do that with five. Third position, uh, we need a book for that. A Muggle's Book on 18th Century Ballet recommended by Myra Curio inspires you to apply techniques regarding balance to your spell casting. It results in an increase in the amount of damage you can inflict against foes in combat. So you kind of just continuously power yourself up uh, and make your abilities better going through this line. So um, again, I don't know, is there anything we can do? Maybe we can start here, still conviction. Learn from Kingsley Shacklebolt about the importance of focusing your mind when facing danger. The techniques increases the maximum amount of focus you can store during combat. And that's impressive or helpful at least. This work increases your chance of successfully landing a critical cast in combat. We're gonna do this, mind the gaps. Uh, yeah, we're gonna upgrade that, so there we go, sweet. Now we have zero scrolls, but we have almost leveled our uh, Aurora ability up to level three, so that's how you power yourself up, and that's where the scrolls go, and the books as well, so that's big. Now, port keys, let's look at port keys. These are your eggs, again, you just walk these off, so precious port key, Port. This is five kilometers. This is a two kilometer one that we're working on. And then here's a new two kilometer one. Uh, and we can use, actually we can use either or. I'm gonna use this key right here. Prize port key port. So keep walking to unlock that. So we are unlocking the ports as we go. I've never opened one before, so I have no idea what happens and we'll see that on the channel. Also, as you can see that over there, oh, there's something going on over there. That is a fortress. We'll go over fortresses later, uh, right here in front of me. It's like, again, it's like the Pokestop. It's uh, the inn, which I'm out of range of, but basically you just open it up. Every five minutes you can spin it uh, and it gives you things like energy uh, and other stuff. And on the bottom right, as you can see right there where the little check mark is, daily assignments. You get daily assignments. Uh, now, okay, top, you know, there's a little check and then there's a little star. So your daily login, uh, you do get a daily login bonus. So keep that up too. Now, return 10 foundables, collect, and boom, look at that. Got a little potion there. I will take that. Sweet. Dine at two, uh, at inns two times. Nice. nice. I'll collect those as well. Thank you. And that is that. And we're working on everything else. And again, these are just daily ones. So they reset in 12 hours. Special. Special assignments coming soon. Some more special assignments are coming. Check back regularly for new assignments and rewards. These are fun. Special assignments are tasks provided by the ministry during unique occasions, such as events. The events are already built into the game, which can be very exciting. To, uh, th this game is going to be really fun as it scales. You'll receive rewards for completing individual tasks and earn even more for completing all tasks in an assignment. Additional tasks may unlock as you progress with the final set providing the best rewards. Be sure to complete all the tasks before time runs out. These are like special research that happens in Pokemon Go. So this is really cool. Achievements. Now these are like your badges in Pokemon Go, but the cool thing about that is that you can prestige and continuously level up your achievements. And as you do that, you do get rewards, which is really, really cool. So here, look. Yeah, Cause actually this gives a bonus reward. Inns dined at one. Dine at inns 50 times. I need seven more. Uh, and once I do that, I get a bonus reward of those two things. <laughs> a lure and I don't know what that other thing is. Sorry guys. Friends list three 
have 20 friends in your friends list, 11 out of 20, that gives us a key. Distinct spell cast three, cast 20 distinct spells. Uh, we get five coins. So these are your achievements. This is, and they stay and they keep leveling and prestiging and there are a ton of them and you get rewards for completing them. So that's an awesome system. And then SOS assignments. Work with Constance Pickering in an expanded role within the Statue of Secrecy Task Force. These SOS investigation assignments are not just about containing the calamity, but helping the ministry to better understand it. Unlock one port key port. So we're, you know, we gotta, we gotta unlock a port and we get that. So you get rewards uh, and you know, just helping with the calamities. So the preface of the game, there is a lot of things from the wizarding world leaking into the muggle world, the real world, and it's your job and my job in the secret task force to go out, collect the confoundables and the foundables and bring them back into the wizarding world, get them out of sight. And then as you do that, you level up, you progress, you battle, and it's uh, honestly a great game. It's very different from Pokemon Go. Thank you for the water. And I actually, I actually really like, oh my gosh, there is, what is going on here? Thank you, thank you. I'm totally new to the Harry Potter franchise, but I will absolutely be playing this game, uploading this game on this channel, um, and I, again, am watching through the Harry Potter series right now to better understand everything. So, super duper cool. Can't wait to hit some fortresses up uh, and play this game a lot more because there's a lot more depth to this game. Oh, also something too. I wanted to register my wand, but I don't, I think I'm gonna do some research on this before I do it, but it, like, it, this is, okay, so you, you know, look at this. Bendy, woof, you can do all that. You can, you can make it, you can adjust the size. You can choose, you know, dragon hearts during unicorn hair, phoenix feather uh, for the core. You can choose the wood and all of it affects your wand, which is really, really cool. Uh, do you wanna, you know, can't, do you wanna proceed with your changes? Can you cancel? Oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff happening right here. So uh, that is that. Oh, also, this is really, really cool. So when it said uh, you can find more dark arts, at the bottom it says, dark arts traces appear more often at landmarks with this flag. So if you wanna find more dark arts traces, as you can see right over there, there is that little flag poking up. And if you tap that, more dark arts traces can be found here and it shows you the range in which, where you can find more dark arts when you're walking around. Oh, cool. All right, here we go. This is what happens at the ends when you spin an in and it opens that up it gives you haha -ha! Ooh, that's a big boost thank you very much you need that oh ooh, this is gonna be fun and again the energy it will show on the uh, top left or the bottom bottom left sorry uh oh a gnome confoundable uh oh no sir okay we've got wow a medium level difficulty okay this might be kind of hard as you can see bottom left 48 out of 75 uh, so that number does count and once you and as you spell cast uh, it definitely makes a difference. So here, we're gonna, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use, okay, so look at look at the threat level. So if I'm gonna use uh, an Extimulo potion, it brings that threat level down from, you know, way down in the, the this side up to here, right? And if I use this one, it brings it down even more, and this one even more, it makes it pretty much, you, you have it. So we're gonna use uh, the Extimulo potion, just so I can show you what that looks like. Use that up, it's gonna make the difficulty much easier, and then as you can see, it lasts for three rounds. On the top left, you've got your potion with three out of three. So, near near near. Okay, that was like a <laughs> decent spell cast. That was good. Don't hide me up. Flippendo! Get out of here, gnome! And we did it in one. Great, we didn't even need a spell, so that was nice and easy, but just wanted to show what that looked like. Fantastic! We returned that confoundable. Nice, overpowered the confoundable. And then that is going to be fragment. Batter's bat, two out of four. So we still need some more of that, but magical games and sports, rank that up a little bit, or level that up a little bit, and then as we go down here, we got plus five, and then XP 105, and then that was, uh, yeah, that's how that works. Oh, awesome, and then I think we checked something off in our daily. Um, we did. Okay, use one potion. Oh, great. Nice. Two more scrolls. We need those bad. And there we go, guys. That's kind of a first look into Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Really, really excited to get into this game. Let me know what you guys think of this game. Are you guys going to play it? And uh, definitely stay tuned for more videos on this game on this channel because this is where it's going to be uploaded. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you guys in Harry Potter. Uh, and we'll uh, do more videos of this in the future. Thank you. Peace out. See you next time, Wizards.